since I left my former place of work, I get this question, like, Helen, where did you go? What are you doing? Why did you go? You should come back. And some people are even very rude and they are even telling me God's judgment is on me and I will be punished for leaving people. Um, but I'm here to just tell you, I appreciate your comments. I appreciate you asking me and, and getting to know what happened to me. But I will just let you know. The Bible says that the steps of the righteous are guided by God. So when you know that your steps are ordered by God, you will never go wrong. You will never get into any mistakes. The time that I worked there seven full years with some months, I did not work for the position. I did not work for my employer. I did not work for the money. Even my employer is my witness. I never went even one day to ask for increment of, on my payment. Why? Because you're not working as you're working for your employer. I knew my reason for being there was to deliver the word of God. And that I did. And there's no one day I can stand and say I gave it halfway because I know I was working for my God. So even you, wherever you are and you're working i want to really encourage you whatever job you're doing it's not a must it be that you're there to preach you might be in a hotel waiter or you're even a cook somewhere but don't work as you're working for your employer please work as you're working for the lord because he's the only one who can pay you and pay you enough i think that's why i never really went to ask for a pay increment because if the lord thinks that i am worthy of having more money in that same position he will do it so and then also when you know that 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 position you have been given as a steward you it is not yours you should not own it it belongs to god and when your time and your season ends he will bring somebody else to continue with the work but when you go before god when he marks your register, will he find that you did use that position he gave you to manage well or you used it for your own gain? That's why even the whole time that I was there, nobody can actually stand and say that they gave me money so that they can come on that platform and do whatever they did. Of course, there were those temptations. I remember when I was a bit younger, there was this pastor who came and told me, Helen, you need pastors every day. So allow me to be getting you pastors every Sunday so that... Uh, uh, they can be paying you. See, you, you really need them at the end of the day. So why not make money while you are at it? And the, the offer sounded so nice and I almost fell for it. But I didn't because I realized I would be inviting the spirit of greed into my life. So if you are put in a position by God to do something and you are being paid the money which you agreed with your employer for that job, why are you expecting more that you did not agree on? Are you getting? So you really, really have to be a good manager of every position you have been given. The Bible says that we have been called to be managers. God is looking for money. Managers. He's not looking for owners. So whatever position you are, whether you're the president of an organization, whether you are the gardener, whether you're the chief, whether you, whatever you are, please know you are there for a reason and a season and a purpose. And that season will come to an end. What will we say of you? Did you serve your purpose? Even David, the Bible says that when he served his purpose in his generation, he rested with his fathers. That is what my story I wanted to read. I wanted to read, I served my purpose. So that was a season in my life and I served it the best way I knew how. And now I am walking into my new position. So all those who are feeling so bad in your heart that you feel that I left you, I want to encourage you. I didn't leave you. God is with you and he will give you a suitable person who will fill that gap. And maybe even more than I did. So be encouraged. The Lord is with you. And please also pray for me so that I enter into my new season with grace. Did I bless you? Please also bless me. Say words of encouragement and may God bless you. I love you and thank you, thank you so much. May God bless you.